Da! One moment. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. All right, guys, today I'm heading back out to the thrift store. It's been a few months since I've done a proper thrifting trip of just looking through everything, and I'm in the mood for a treasure hunt. And as always, here's the thrifting outfit. Really baggy, loose-fitting pants that are elastic at the waist and just a basic black sweater. I just want to be comfortable and have something that I can easily pull on and off when I go to the fitting rooms. So I go for comfort over stylish for sure anytime I'm seriously thrifting. So I'm looking for pants, jeans, um, basic black items that I can wear every day that are comfortable because I'm working at home a lot of the time. But also I want to look for stuff for Charles. I've decided I'm going to start thrifting for him more this year. Don't forget to bring water and a granola bar if you're going to be thrifting for a while because you might definitely need it. I don't know how much I'm actually going to be... Oh, sunlight, what are you doing? Just keep my hand here. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm actually gonna be thrifting in the store because my small town is not ready for that and I've gotten lots of dirty looks. And I, I try really hard not to get other people in the shot, at least, you know, not faces. So um, depending on how busy it is and what it's like in there, I might not have that much footage, but I will do my best. <laughs> All right, let's go. I wasn't able to film that much inside, guys. I think I got here like right when the post-school rush was happening and it's getting a little bit late, so I think I will just uh, wait till tomorrow to show you guys what I did manage to find. So everything that I bought for Charles is too small. I'm so disappointed. Thankfully, I only bought him three items, so it's not like I spent a ton of money. And I'm gonna see if maybe my brother wants them because they are similar but not the exact same size. But yeah, I got him some really nice stuff that I guess I'll just show you really quickly since it didn't work out anyway. Yeah, don't be afraid to look in the men's section because you can find some nice stuff between the 30 year old golfing polos. But yeah, I thought this would be nice because it's just like a regular knit top but it has the mock neck which I think can really make a shirt just look a little bit nicer sometimes. I think mock necks are really nice, but the sleeves are too short, so he can't wear it. Boy got long arms. I was really excited about this one because it's a really nice basic black button down and it's such a dark black, like it's not faded at all. So I was very excited about this, but again, the arms are too short. My husband is super, super tall, but also slender. Like he has crazy broad shoulders and long arms, but he has a tiny waist. Uh, and then my guy, just really needs, really needs some new jeans. I thought maybe like a dark wash slimmer fit, not skinny jean, but like a slimmer fit pant would look nice. These fit him so tight. It was like a little 15 year old emo boy kind of look. And he's like, oh, these are fine. I'll, I'll, I'll still wear them. Babe, no, you're not wearing them. They looked uncomfortable. So unfortunately none of those fit, but I thought they were still good finds if they had fit. But I did get some clothes for myself before I put those on and show you. Let me show you a couple non-clothing things I got. Ah! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would... One moment. So this was obviously an impulse purchase, but I just love collecting costume pieces. I don't know when I'll use this, but it's fun. I have touched glitter in the last 24 hours. A bridal sewing pattern. I have no plans of making a wedding dress, but I like the shape of the bodice, so I could use it for other 
ball gown-esque things. I don't know. It was 25 cents. And because I have a fabric problem, uh, these curtains. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? What is that? I'm gonna say that that's oatmeal dried on there. I didn't really inspect these much before buying them. But point being, I thought this fabric was lovely. It just is kind of like a sheer tan with gold and red embroidery and like little flowers on it. And the bottom of it is a really cool design too. I don't know if you can see the scalloped edge, but I thought those were nice. Definitely gonna wash them like now and get that crust off of them so i'm not quite sure what i'll make with them but i envision a very long flowing princessy type of dress i don't know we'll see this is just a very basic long sleeve knit top no i don't technically need it but i have noticed lately that i just don't have that many long sleeve t-shirts or long sleeve tops that aren't blouses, like button down blouses. I guess there was a bit of a deficit in my wardrobe when I just wanted something casual that wasn't a t-shirt or a sweater. So just a simple basic to wear day to day. Same thing goes for this top, just another basic long sleeve top that isn't a blouse that feels a little bit more casual. And it's funny because probably five years ago I would not have glanced twice at this, but I thought the lace and the lace up were just such a fun detail to this that actually make it a little bit more versatile in my wardrobe. So I think I would be comfortable wearing this with just jeans, whatever, you know, casual around the house, or with a long skirt it suddenly feels much more earthy and whimsical and something I could play up a little bit more costumey. I'm even tempted to add fabric in the sleeves to make it more of a bell sleeve. Also it's very soft, which is nice. So I think yesterday's trip was entirely worth it just for this piece. It's so freaking cute. It was sold in the shirt section. The length of it kind of makes me confused whether it's supposed to be like a tunic top or a baby doll dress. I don't know, I could style it as either. So right now I just have like little tumble shorts on because I think this would be so freaking cute. Just styled as a dress with some black cowboy boots. I don't have black cowboy boots. I have these weird <laughs> skin colored ones that um, I thrifted last year and told myself I was gonna paint black. And every day that passes, that feels less likely. <laughs> Just imagine this with some black cowboy boots, and maybe I should look into those bloomers that everyone's been crazy about lately. I could make them myself, probably, but this would be a reason to have something underneath, obviously. Or another way I was thinking of wearing it. Okay, maybe not this exactly, but I could layer it over other skirts and then belt it or not. Eh, yeah, I don't, I don't really love that, but that's an option. The shape of it is a little bit out of my usual realm. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but everything else about this, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so feminine and beautiful. And I just am in love with the details, like this lace inlay that goes all the way down. And like, look at the lace on the bell sleeve and just the design around the skirt. Let me get closer so you can see. Oh gosh, it's just, it's so pretty. Point being, I'm just very excited to style this for the spring and summer. I also got this long black dress that has like a mesh lace, has a little bit of a floral design on it, and then it ties in the back and the hem is this really cool lace and fringe. Stand on my tiptoes and see if that helps it be in the shot. This might be my one buyer's remorse item from yesterday's trip. I don't know, at the time trying it on, I was like, wow, this is so cool and unique and I can see myself styling this in a lot of different ways, particularly for videos on this channel, but I don't know how much I'll actually get around to wearing it out of the house. <laughs> Cause this just feels a little bit more dressy than what I typically need to wear just in my real life. Super cool piece. Like I said, I definitely can see myself styling this a lot of different ways for content for this channel, but I don't want to get into a habit of buying clothes just for content. I want to make sure that the clothes I'm buying, I actually wear out. So, I mean, I bought it, it's here. I'm gonna use it since I already brought it into my home. But either way, I, I do think this is really cool. Let me come up a little closer and see if you can see the lace a little bit better. I don't know, it's uh, a little bit hard to see. And this is the last thing I got, which I had no business buying. It's just, it's really cool, man. It's really cool. <laughs> and it was only $10. The tag says extra small, so I almost didn't even look at it, but it looked a little bit larger than an extra small, so I tried it on anyway. It must be a men's extra small because this is definitely too big for me, but just the cut of it and the buttons, it's all very gothic and I really like it. It's just very clearly too big on me. So I don't know if that's something I would be able to fix myself 
myself and tailor myself or if I should just take it to a tailor. I don't know, it's just such a unique niche thing that I didn't expect to see in my little country town thrift store and it's hard for me to pass on items like that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It just was so cool and I showed my little nephew who's very much in a pirate phase right now and I was like, look, I got a pirate coat and he was like, Wah! I don't know. Uh, clearly I have a problem and just buy stuff to be costumes that I may or may not actually wear in my real life. It's like just the right amount of dramatic, just a little bit of flair. Yeah, so obviously I didn't find any pants, which was pretty disappointing, but there is just a smaller selection at my local thrift store. And also yesterday, I think I was just very mentally unprepared to deal with people and be around people. So as soon as I got in the store, I was kind of like, oh crap, um, uh, and that just made it even more awkward than I usually feel filming out in a public space. But I would like to know y'all's thoughts on the format for thrifting and thrift haul try on types of videos. Cause I feel like if I just go out and buy stuff and then show you the haul afterwards. I, I feel like that's slightly less interesting than if I try to film in the store as I'm going, but filming in the store is very anxiety provoking and often difficult for me, partially because of just where I live. People are not keen on that. The dirty looks are not fun. So let me know what you guys think as far as the format of thrifting videos in the future. They're not something that I plan on doing super often, especially since I want to limit how much I thrift this year just for the sake of saving money, but I do enjoy going to the thrift store and filming it is a good filler video in between larger projects. So let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave a duck emoji because I can't think of anything else. <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe. Bye. Ouch. Something's in my eyeball. Oh, the tag is in my eyeball. Who the frick velcroed a tag on here? That's stupid. Don't mind me, I'm just getting naked over here. Let me make this turn. Whee!